Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Okay, um, Keenan Thompson says his wife didn't love that he's a widower in new sitcom Keenan. She was like, oh, so I'm dead. <laughs> Keenan Thompson joked of his wife's reaction to the plot of his new self-titled NBC comedy. Keenan Thompson's wife had some thoughts about his new NBC sitcom during an appearance on Saturday night's episode of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The 42-year-old comedian chatted about his upcoming sitcom, Keenan, and detailed what his wife's initial thoughts were about the show's plot. In the new NBC comedy, Thompson plays a widowed father of two girls trying to balance work with life as a single dad. In real life, the actor is also a father to two daughters, sharing six-year-old Georgia Marie and two-year-old Gianna Michelle with wife Christina Evangeline, who is 31. When host Jimmy Fallon asked Thompson what his wife thought about the sitcom storyline, the Saturday Night Live star joked that she didn't love it. She was like, oh, so I'm dead. But, I mean, she was just giving me a hard time, Thompson said, but I was like, yeah, it's not you. You know what I mean? It's a show. It's a different thing. Keenan Thompson says he has no plans to leave SNL ahead of new sitcom premiere, explaining that the show does reflect his life a little bit when it comes to being a father of two girls. Thompson said it is still totally different from his real life. I'm the host of Atlanta's number two morning show and just trying to balance that work life relationship and raising my girls without my best friend and partner i hadn't really seen that kind of explored in a sitcom before he told fallon 46 of the show's plot on tuesday the comedian continued to promote his new show with an appearance on today telling viewers that while he mirrored some of his own experiences with fatherhood in the series script much of it boiled down to creative liberty my wife thank god she's still with me he said on today According to the show's official synopsis, the single camera comedy follows Thompson as he tries to reclaim his life after his wife's death, while his father-in-law, Don Johnson, brother Chris Red, and co-workers all have strong opinions on the best way to live his life. He struggles to balance parenting them as a single dad and hosting his show, which leads him to reluctantly accept help from his father-in-law, Rick. The synopsis reads, Rick was gallivanting, gallivanting sax player who, when his daughter, Corey, Nicole Thurman, was young and missed out on a lot of her childhood, so he is aiming to make that up with his granddaughters, although his old school parenting style does not often match up to Keenan's. Um, the Ken it should premiere, oh, it already premiered, um, Tuesday, February 16th at 8.30 on Eastern. Um, I didn't catch it because I work a lot, um... Sounds like a great plot. Um, if you've watched it, um, tell me in the comment section what you think about it. Do you think that it will be a successful show? And what do you think about Kenan Thompson? Do you think he has what it takes to um, have his own show and be very successful? Now, to me, I like I like um, the plot is very intriguing because you have um. A black man who's a single father at that and he's raising two daughters. We have really never seen that before. Um, I think we have, though. We've seen it with um, one on one with Flex and um, Kyla Pratt, where he was raising his daughter by himself. And um, I believe he would. Um, I think the mom I think the mom still was alive, I believe, in that one. But they were divorced. So he was raising practically his daughter. Um, and that was a great show. I love the um I love the show. Kyla Pratt um was great at it and um so was on um, Flex. I just didn't like how the show kind of ended. Um making Kyla Pratt's um I think making her pregnant or something and I didn't like that at all. But the thing is, I wanna see more this this is the thing. Shows to me have not really been good like that, especially family shows. Um I miss the old days. Um, when we had John Amos and his wife um, on Good Times, I miss the old days of Fresh Prince of Bel Air where we had Phil and his wife. Um, he was a guy from the hood 
and he basically made it out to be a lawyer, a famous judge. Like we we need more shows like that where we have successful black people, black parents or togetherness. Now I know, you know, Keenan's wife, I believe, is 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 um is white. And like I said, I don't have a problem if you marry a white person or not. I know you guys hear some of my videos going off on pink folk a lot, and you guys think, oh, he hates all. I don't hate pink folk. I just hate the bullshit that they um try to hide behind instead of just being honest about them. Some some of them honestly be honest about their racism. That's why I respect a guy like Trump more than Biden, because um, Trump is going to be a blatant racist. He, he he's he, he's going to let you know who he is and what he stands for while Biden hides behind a smile and you know, lies to me. Now, this is great as far as showing a black man and what he can do, balancing work and balancing being a father, which is very good. Um, My brother-in-law, he has four daughters, so he probably would relate to this show a lot. Um, Now, me, I want more shows with black couples black husbands and wives not no drama like love and hip-hop and the real housewives of that bull crap i don't i don't want that i basically want to see more brothers who are lawyers or brothers who are doctors i don't want to see the same typical bro like a brother who's an owner like you know it'd be fun if they had a movie or a tv show of a black man being the owner of a football or basketball team like a full control owner or being a lawyer or a judge again, or being a judge, you know, seeing like Judge Mathis. I'm not talking about TV show judges. And even though Judge Mathis is a judge, has his um stuff. I want to see real judges, like real black men, like coming from the bottom and making it to that point. Like I want to see family with a wife and the husband where they're, they're together and they have a son and daughter or two sons or two daughters, whatever you want to make it. We don't have them shows no more. Like um, Martin, like even Martin, Martin, you saw black love, you know, um, you, you saw, um, even though the Jamie Foxx show, you know, he was single at first, but him and fancy when they got together, you saw their ups, you saw their downs as friends. I mean, you saw them eventually fall in love and get married. That's stuff I want to see. And we don't have enough shows like that. And I know it's an agenda for them not to put shows out there like that. Now, it may be some shows out there like that. I may not know. Let me know in the comment section. You know, like I said, I work a lot. You guys are my eyes and ears a lot of times. But I just feel like we need more shows showing strong black men. Um, Keenan's a strong black man. Um, I, I'm proud. I followed his career from all that. He guy's very funny. Um, very natural with the camera. Um, I like his charisma. I like his um his presence. Now, um, I just want um you know I just feel like we need more shows family oriented to show you know blacks in a positive light because I believe kids who are in the projects or in poor neighborhoods or even kids in the suburbs, black kids. It's not a lot of black kids who see successful people, you know, and that's what they need to see. Like when you see somebody that's a doctor or a lawyer, or somebody who's in charge of a company, like when I went out of town for being a package car driver, I saw um, a man who was um, the head guy over there. He was the head guy in training everybody and he was making six figures. It's um, he was a black man. And he was strong and he was he he inspired me. Then I saw another black man who was in charge, who was retired from the company, but he still came and helped those when he needed to. But they know racism exists and prejudice. But like he said, it's how you deal with it. Um, it's going to find you. But how do you deal with it? Yeah, you get mad and, and blow up about it. But what's the point? The point is you have to be that change. Don't let them change you because they don't like you because of the color of your skin. And to me, I believe we need more shows showing our color of skin in a better light. 
I'm tired of seeing the nigga who's a thug. I'm tired of seeing the dope boy. I'm tired of seeing the stripper. I'm tired of seeing um the 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 rapper and all this. We need to do other things. I'm tired of the black on black killings. It's it's out of control. And I know I went another direction from the show. I apologize. It's just I had a lot on my mind. And it's just something that pissed me off. But I'm proud of Keenan. And this is a great show. I hope you guys support it. It comes on um, think Tuesdays. Yeah, come on. <gasps> Excuse me. Yeah, come on Tuesdays. Um, At night. I don't know Eastern time. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Um, Eastern time. Yeah, I think around 8.30 p.m. Eastern on NBC. So make sure you guys check it out. Um, Thank you for listening. And we are out. Deezy.